What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving, book and title. Lessons from a non-custodial father, Amazon can to create space. Um, link will be in the description box below as usual. Um, is tattoo culture for dummies? You know, tattoos used to mean something. Now they're just meaningless things that everybody gets to be to, to me. It looks like a, just a fashion statement now. And I like sometimes I wonder is the culture itself for dummies like you know I see people get tattoos when they're intoxicated. You know, so if you if you need to get drunk to do something or you're doing something every time you get drunk or when you're high it's usually not a good idea. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't make a a life changing decision after a night of party and getting drunk. I'm about to go get fucked up. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start this business. What them papers at? Like it's not. It's, it, no. But tattoo culture, you see that often. Um. Is it for dummies because people regret what they did so often? You know, this is the tattoo I got. Now I got to get another one to go over it because, you know, it was it's an impulse move. Like, you know, sometimes people make these impulse moves and they grow as individuals. And when they grow as individuals, they regret their decisions because I should say that it, I should ask, is it is it a dummy culture with young people because of people are doing it too young because when people are older and they get tattoos they know exactly what they got why they got it where to put it and they and they and they are, they stand on their decision they're not ashamed of it you know they don't do it over or cover it up or you know you know I changed my mind and this ain't cool no more I'm done with it no it's that's not it's not an impulse decision but for most young people who are getting tattoos, they're all impulse decisions. And I can tell the impulse decisions by the placement of some of these tattoos. Men and women getting tattoos in some weird spots. You know, I've seen women, you've seen too many women with tattoos across the middle of their chest. It's like, that's not a good look. That's, that looks, no. You know, tattoos on your neck and, and, and people with tattoos on their face. And it's like, why the hell did you do that? You know, and then you got... I've seen dudes... Cutting the grass with their shirts off and have tramp stamps. And it's like... Do you... What? Like, why would you... You know what? Screw it. You know, I've seen people... lose jobs because of their tattoo placement because I'm trying to express myself and I want to express myself and it's like okay you can express yourself but why did you have to express yourself right in the open like why would you get tattoos on your fucking hands knowing you never started a business you didn't start anything you got to work for people but you got your hands covered in tattoos you can't wear gloves to work you can't do the interview you know, it's just, it's not a good idea. You know, people get them on their face. Well, I guess I'll never really get a job. You about damn right. You know, because you're not independent of the need. You're not independent enough to be self-sufficient in this society. So some of the moves that people make with these tattoos just don't make sense. You know? Um... Sometimes is it is the culture for dummies because of of people's trying to have it both ways. So you want to be pro, you want to be expressive and provocative, but seen as um, um, like straight edged. You know, it's not gonna work. It's not it's not gonna work. You know, I understand you can be a intellectual and comfortable clothes but just but, but people are gonna have to get to know you they're, they're automatic um, 
stereotype or assumption of you is going to be, you know, you are what you look like on the, in appearance. And they say you should never judge a book by its cover. You're right. But, you know, if you have a, if you have a, a comic book cover on a autobiography, you're not going to think it's an autobiography. You know, you see Wolverine, eh, but it's the story of Marcus Garvey. You're going to be like, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't have, yeah, okay. Y'all need to get, you need to, you know, make that more closer to reality because this is, com you know, that's a complete, thro that's throwing me completely off. Um, I see the culture has people getting tattoos of people. Tattoo culture is always, you know, whether it's a, a name of a person, a symbol of a person, uh, a, a, an event with a person that you make memorable, but then, you know, then you got that reminder that you was with that person the whole time. You know, like like Nick Cannon, right? He had a big ass tattoo of Mariah on his back. You know, now what is that? It's, it's a white Jesus, even though he's pro-black conscious that which you know whole nother story like this is the thing like when you make one impulse decision that's not well thought through then you go to another impulse decision it's not well thought through now you got to sit there and go like what the hell am i gonna do this time so is is it a dummy culture you know the expressive part i'm just trying to express myself The problem with that is, what are the tattoos really expressing? Like, because most people don't understand everybody's expression in their tattoos. The, the it, it, like when people wear have tattoos, you're like, eh, it's just tattoos. It's not like tattoos have. I hate to break this to you. It's not like tattoos have a norm language and a norm meaning. Like, if you get this, it means that. It, they're trendy things. Like, you know. The way tattoos go, everybody has a monolithic tattoo mindset. Where in this era, in this time period, people got all of these similar tattoos. A year later, they got all of these similar tattoos. And they got them all in these same spots. So you can't really express yourself and stand out different from the crowd and do something unique because most people aren't doing things unique. Most people are just regurgitating the same thing that... A hundred other people in that same tattoo shop did already. You know? And whether it's, you know, some some form of fashion, it's, it's, it's really like the ultimate, um, uh, you know, how, how do you, how do you call that? Damn, you know, if, if somebody jumped off a bridge, you would too. You know, so you're not expressing yourself when you got a tattoo of a star and then every, and then the, the 10 people before you got the, the tattoo of a star of, of the same star. And then, you know, for six months, people thought, oh, there's a dope star. I'm going to go get one, too. No, the meaning of it is completely lost in translation because everybody because one person might have got it for actual expressive meaning. The other people just got it because they thought it was cool. You know, that's why you see. Like I said before, in another video, all the people with the Black Panther tattoos, you know what era that was. You know what I'm saying? With the crosses, you know what era that was. With the little, with the Jesus, uh, you know, thorn thing across the arm, you know what time period they got their tattoo. You know, the tramp stamps, you know what era that was. You know, the stars and the fish and, the, you know, uh, you know, and the butterflies and all this other shit. You know, you know. You know, when chicks used to get one tattoo right here, small one on the titty, you know which era she from. Now she get one across her motherfucking chest. It's just it, girls getting tattoos across their ass and you're expressing yourself. And it's just like, you know, how about just using your words to express yourself, you know? Because this expression sometimes... You know, is is really a bunch of warning signs to another person who's dealing with you. Depending on the type of tattoos you get, it's like you're expressing yourself. Let me see that tattoo. Say I shouldn't fuck with you. That one say I ain't fucking with you. 
That one said that was dumb as shit to do. That one, I let that one slide, but it still makes kind of no sense. And then that one, even you don't know what the, why the fuck you got that one. So, you know, and that's the one thing about, people, you know, tattoo culture. A lot of people regret their tattoos. They can't explain them anymore. They lose the meaning that they said they had when they first got it. And, 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 and and they try to, you know, some people try to make it more than it is, you know. Oh, my dog died. He choked on his kibbles and bits. And this is why, why this tattoo of a dog, you know, away from his bowl means everything to me. Like, you really need to let it go, you know. But... I'm going to just leave it alone for right now because I'm done talking about this. I'm out.